At this point, I'm just going to give you a very quick recap of the hard skills we employ. If you want to have a good understanding or a deeper understanding, then I suggest you look at some of the YouTube clips on the UC channel or you look at any of the media. But basically, like I said, we have six primary tools. Five are impactive or concussive. So understand the objective. The objective is to disrupt the, your adversary's ability to fight. And you're going to do that in a number of physiological ways. The primary way is switch off the computer. You want continuous impact to the head that will shake the brain and switch off the computer. So unconsciousness is the best of all. Hard impacted strikes to any bony plate on the head that shakes the brain will disrupt consciousness. Or you're going to attack via fingertip strikes or gouging, ripping and tearing to the eye structure. So disruption of vision. This is always a good tool to employ for any female student that you have. It's the first thing I ever teach a woman. Another would be disruption to breathing. So a very hard body shot, a very hard kick in the balls that puts the testicles up into the tonsils, or any punch in the throat or disruption to breathing via a choke or a strangle will disrupt breathing. Final way is to boot out mobility. So if I stomped your toes flat or I kicked out your knee or I booted your peroneal so you couldn't stand on your legs anymore, I've disrupted mobility. So understand, if I take your consciousness, your vision, your breathing or your mobility, I will disrupt your ability to fight. If I take one, two or more of these things, I'm very likely to take your will in a psychological, emotional sense to continue. So your objective is to disrupt your adversaries to fight both physically and emotionally. Go! And down, good. So this would be an example of the rapid eye blitz moving into a succession of impactive tools. Again, an example of Blitzkrieg, all right? Other tools that we're gonna employ are the palm strike, the hammer fist as a, as a use of a tool by itself, and the elbows in the knees. First of all, I just want to give you an example of a single palm strike, which you've already seen, but I just want you to see it again. <laughs> Good. Now I just want to show the example of a slap. So you've just seen the linear tool, now a slap's coming angular. From here, nice big shot. Good. And one more. Good. This will be a slap. So the eye blitz, palm strike, and the slap share the commonality to open-handed tools. Okay, from there, we've seen the others. Hammer fist strike, he's gonna throw in a palm and then he's gonna attach and cycle three times with a hammer fist. This is, again, one of our primary tools. Off you go. Good, again, so go lead palm into the face, hammer fist to follow. So palm, go, hammer, hammer, hammer. hammer. Good, so this is the hammer fist as we've already seen. Again, from an attachment, if he was here, now he's gonna show an elbow, hit him with a point of the elbow, point structure, and here as you've already seen, if he takes a side clinch, put the knee, again, point of the knee. So, to recap quickly, eye blitz, palm strike, slap, hammer fist, and knee. These are our six primary tools, and these are what we've been implementing so far, and what we're gonna finish this um, production with when we come into our actual Blitzkrieg examples. What we're talking about is the principle of Blitzkrieg. So this is basically how you get through this fucker in five to ten seconds, right? It's a proactive dynamic. Like I said, you're going to hit him, you're going to grab him, repeatedly hit him. It doesn't matter what you employ, just take the principle of that. First one I'm going to give you is a very simple example using the same tool. So if you only knew how to punch with a right cross or a left cross, you could punch someone in the head, grab them and repeatedly punch them. If you had to use a tool, let's say half a brick, you could hit them in the head, grab them and repeatedly hit them with half a brick. Now you've got the principle of Blitzkrieg. Understand where this principle comes from. It comes from criminality and it comes from war. That's where it comes from. So if somebody ambushed somebody in a, with a knife, a street criminal, jumped out and stabbed somebody and grabbed them and repeatedly stabbed them until they were dead, that would be a horrible sight and a horrific thing. But what they've actually just employed is an overwhelming assault that was impossible to retaliate or recover from. That's Blitzkrieg. Here we're using it from an unarmed perspective. I'm gonna hit you first, grab you, and repeatedly hit you. So picture the dynamic of what that would look like in your head. 
As soon as you go, you keep going and you accelerate. It's almost like a snowball at the top of a snow-covered mountain, rolling down the hill, gathering mass and momentum as it gets to the end. It's just going to get worse and worse for the person on the receiving end. First example is going to be simple, what we've already done. It's going to hit him with a palm, grab him, and repeatedly hit him with a palm. Again, using the pad as a target. So here, Mikhail is going to give the example of the feed. He is the pad feeder. Jamie is the combative trainee. So PFCT. He's going to use a natural unobtrusive position, hit him with this uh, palm strike, grab him, and then repeatedly hit. We're going to start where we intend to finish. So this is how the end piece would look once you've got the dynamic. Ready? Go! In this case, three strikes, man's down, he's gone. It can be that clinical, all right? Go one more example, just elongate, maybe four strikes. Go! And then gone. Get the idea? Hit, attach, repeatedly hit. This is the principle of Blitzkrieg, right? When you learn it with a simple skill such as one tool, a palm strike, there's one command going through the brain. Hold and hit, that's it. It's not complicated, it's not complex, it's gross motor. The tool we employed is extremely gross motor. If you can open the fridge and reach in for a beer, you can put your hand in somebody's face. Understand that under fight dress, you know, many things happen to you that make you uh, dysfunctional in a combative sense. So simple is best. I'll give you another example of Blitzkrieg now. And the Blitzkrieg example I'm going to give is my preferred method of using a skill set, which implements palm, an attachment, some kind of hammer, elbow, knee, putting him on the floor and then finishing with my feet as we've seen. So the first Blitzkrieg example that you've just seen was strike, attach, repeat the same strike till the man is down. That's Blitzkrieg drill one. Now I'm going to show you two. So from here, all the same principles apply to what we've just looked at. Okay, I'm going to strike, attach, use my skill set, and then implement a finish after my beat down. So I'm here. This would be an example of that. Okay, you show the same example. Again, you're going to go palm, attach to the garment, hammer, hammer, elbow, some kind of attachment in the knee, doesn't matter how you clinch, doesn't matter what side you use, as long as you go to a low line transition, drill finishes with him on the floor and you making your way to the exit. Ready? Go! And gone.